Braves vs Astros World Series Game 3, Snitka relishing, wild, Atlanta home crowd, it's been really, really good, from the first year that we played here, Snitko said during Thursday's off day. It has been all year really. We've had great crowds from the beginning of opening things up again. I didn't see, but they said even the last couple of nights it's just packed in the battery, and I know one of the coach's wives that couldn't make the trip said she cracked her door and felt like we were playing the game here. It's an exciting place to play, to be at. It will be wild tomorrow. I know that there hasn't been a World Series game here for quite some time now, Anderson said. It's definitely an honor to be starting the game tomorrow night. I think keeping my emotions in check and kind of just taking it all in is going to be a big factor. It's been awesome. We've kind of taken it on as an identity, and the fans and you guys and the media too have played a big part in that. I think the fans are excited. I think Atlanta sports fans are always into this time of year. We've had some success, the teams and the city have had some success. So we're looking to get it done for them. Human nature is to overreact meanwhile, for veteran Astros manager Dusty Baker, the key is to put emotion to one side. Now into his 24th season as manager, Baker is looking for a first championship ring that has eluded him thus far, despite taking all five teams he has coached to the playoffs. Having fallen to a 6-2 defeat in Game 1 at Minute Maid Park the crushing victory on home soil for Game 2 will give Baker confidence ahead of tonight's game, as the Astros seek to repeat their 2017 World Series triumph. I think human nature is to overreact, personally. It's sort of short-sighted and you just see the feeling that you have at the moment," Baker said. That's how you've got to look at it, whether you lose three still, you've got to win four. Thin four-side aid rescue dolphin at the Florida-based aquarium since 2002, Nick has etched his name into the ever-proliferating list of sports predicting animals by forecasting major sporting events with admirable accuracy since 2017. Ominously for the Astros this time around. Nick began the year with four straight correct predictions, though they will take heart from an erroneous choice of the Kansas City Chiefs for the Super Bowl. Is the flippered phenomenon to Paul the Octopus? Only time will tell. Game 3 is tonight at 8.09 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.